Hello, some enthusiasts. I've got mail. This is the King Kong rifle. And I have never had one of these before. I'm very excited. I've spun King rifles for a while and that's usually what I order for my students at Spintronics. And I have just never done anything with a King Kong specifically. So already looking at it, the very end is not taped over. So I'm gonna have to tape over that so I don't destroy the padding because I don't know about you, but I don't catch my equipment every single time. I'd like to, I try to. So, that, but there is tape on the nose. There's tape here. It's covering the screw, which is just really important. You want your tape to cover your screw because otherwise this screw can actually like loosen over time and come out. And it's, they've got it taped over this swivel as well, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. That probably won't last for me personally because I understand the reasoning behind taping it because you don't want to get your finger caught on it or anything, but that then you, your rifle strap doesn't have sort of the freedom to move the way you want it to. Sometimes with your choreography, you need your rifle strap to be able to move side to side. I will also be taping over this Chicago screw with some white tape because these have a tendency to loosen as well, but that doesn't take much. That's no big deal. The center is taped from here to here. Beautiful. And then if I go down the other end, again, the end of it is not taped over the very end. So the padding, I'm going to have to put some tape over that. And, but this part is taped. And again, my whole screw and swivel is taped over. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, got the logo. Yes, ma'am. Very excited to see how this spins. First of all, it's a little lighter than I was expecting. I generally spin a rifle that has a lot of glue inside of it. Can I toss this one higher? Probably. I'm not going to toss very high in here, but it's got a pretty good uh, balance to it. I actually really like the balance. I tend to notice that a lot of rifles are balanced more toward the butt, like really, really heavily toward the butt. This is more balanced toward the center, I feel like, than a normal rifle is. And I kind of like that because when you're doing right-handed spins, if the butt is too heavy, then it's not going to counteract the spinning of the nose. And you're gonna get the most drag of air from this end because this end is longer. So just thinking physics-wise, it's really good to have a nice, well-balanced rifle. But if you have the balance perfectly in the center, look at that, that is a beautifully balanced rifle right there. Got my nose and my butt all taped up. I'm ready to see how this baby tosses. Let's just do one and back. Two and back. In and back. Yeah. Guys, I feel like I'm not even getting a workout and I literally just tossed like a good 50 triples and 25 quads. Like there's a little sweat but normally at this point in time, I would be dripping if I was tossing my other insanely heavy rifle. So the first thing you're gonna notice about tossing this is that it is very light. Like it's so nice and light. I feel like I could chuck a six up with about the same energy as I chuck a quad with my normal gun. So even though I taped the ends, I completely forgot to tape my Chicago screws. They're already coming out and I cut my thumb on one of them. So make sure you tape your screws. It's very important. So the question I get now is, well, if it's so light, then how come it can spin well? Like what's gonna cause it to actually spin well in the air and create a good toss? The answer to that is, it's perfectly balanced. So if I put my hand directly in the center of the gun, the point that it should be spinning around, it's gonna balance right on that point. I'm not holding it at all. You can even see 
my thumb back here is up, but it's not touching the gun. So it's balanced perfectly in the middle. And when you have that balance right in the middle and you toss from off center, either here or here over in the neck or off of the butt, you're gonna get a really nice tight spin out of it as long as you give it that push. So how in the heck do they balance it, you say? That is an industry secret. See, Scott King is actually an engineer and he went through and made so many different versions of the King Kong rifle that he tested over and over and over again to get the exact right amount of spin whenever you toss it in the air. The other thing, whenever you have a light gun, a lot of times it will end up breaking easier and I don't feel like this is going to. For one thing, it actually has a metal bar inside of it. I don't know if you want to call it a bar or a rod or whatever, a strip of metal that actually increases the strength of the wood. If you know anything about construction, you know they put long pieces of steel rebar inside of concrete to strengthen it when they're building buildings. It's kind of the same idea. The metal is made out of aluminum, so it's lightweight, but it's not like aluminum foil like you would think of to wrap your food in when you're done eating it. It's actually like a strong bar of aluminum that keeps it from breaking if it hits the ground. Now granted, if your team spins on concrete or you practice in your driveway or something, you're probably still going to have a lot higher chance of breaking your rifle than if you were to just spin like on grass, on the field, on a nice wood floor. So that's my review of the King Kong rifle. Remember, it is not the same as a normal King rifle, nor is it the same as any other rifle on the market. It's honestly the best thing I've ever spun, and I absolutely cannot wait to spin with a full set of King Kong rifles in our Winter Guard show in the 2021 season. Guys, if you like what we've been doing, please, please, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Every single subscriber we have helps us so much. If you want to get notifications about when we post new stuff, ring that bell and you'll get notifications about anytime we post a new video, new story post, new regular photo posts. If you want to talk to us, you can always message us on here. You can make comments and all sorts of things. So we are fully available for you. Don't forget to share this with all your friends because even though it's hard to remember in these trying times, Color Guard is always so much more fun when you do it on a team. If you are watching this video before July 25th, 2020. Don't forget, we are actually giving away one of these beautiful babies, these King Kong rifles, this modern marvel of Color Guard Engineering. We made a video with all the deets on how to enter. I'll put a link to it in the description below so you can go enter. If this is after June 25th, 2020, I'm so sorry you missed out on this giveaway, but honestly, go get yourself a King Kong rifle. And make sure when you order anything from designsbyking.com that you put Spintronics in the comments box so that they know who sent you.